the intersection in Chopper 4, getting you answers on what's being done now to try to make that area safer. Liz? Well, guys, we're about a thousand feet above Cleveland Avenue at the intersection of 161. And I was down below earlier today gathering some footage for this story. And it just so happened that there was a three car crash on the ground. Traffic is flowing smoothly now. That has been cleared up. And no one was seriously injured. But this spot ranks fifth out of 40 high crash intersections in central Ohio. And witnesses and some of the people that were involved in that crash earlier today say it's time for a change. Screeching tires and sirens. They're the street sounds that travelers say have become synonymous with Cleveland Avenue at Dublin Granville and Morse Roads. It uh, whew, shakes you up. I'm at Lois Mayhew while shooting the intersection at Dublin Granville Road. The Mid Ohio Regional Planning Commission, or MORPSI, ranked this spot fifth on its list of the top 40 regional high crash intersections. And Mayhew says she understands why. He had the green light. Uh, he was turning left onto uh, 161. And I just see her keep going, keep going, and just bam right into him. The force of the crash knocked down this pole and left this driver in shock behind her airbag. It's one of many such crashes that Morpsey looks into to find out what's going on at the top crash locations in central Ohio. We work with our uh, local jurisdictions uh, to help save lives. And the survey results help multiple municipalities like the city of Columbus make improvements. We are already embarking on a study to look at the 161 corridor between uh, I-71 and Ponderosa Drive. For the last several years, Cleveland Avenue at Morse Road has been the top spot in the region for crashes. But since 2010, a turn lane has been added, the timing of the lights has been changed, and a median was also built in to make the intersection safer. Still, city leaders say safety is a partnership, and some of the onus lies on drivers like the ones who luckily were able to walk away from this crash. I'm just glad everybody's okay, and it could have been a lot worse. So you probably want to know what else is going on besides that traffic study on 161. Well, according to the city of Columbus, they do have a number of improvement projects for some of the intersections on the east side. Uh, one in particular, James and Broad, uh, which is third on the list for the high rate of crashes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to follow up to find out if those improvements make a difference in the safety in those areas, and we'll get back with you. Live from Chopper 4, Liz Adiola, NBC4. All right, thanks so much.